Shalom Kaysen here with the Rosary Challenge, and today is day 63. Well, yesterday was day 63, rather. And did I do it? Yes, I did. How did I feel? Felt pretty exhausted, as usual, because I didn't get finished until uh, very late at night. But I did get it done, and I always feel great about just getting it done at all. So I uh, wanted to just kind of address a topic really quick today, and then I'll get back into different miracles that have been elicited through the rosary. So the topic I wanted to address today was naysayers. And some people will say, nay, you shouldn't pray the rosary. Nay, you shouldn't uh, invoke Mary. Nay, you shouldn't do any of these things. You can go straight to Christ. And that's all good and well. However, it's not correct. You can go straight to Christ, but no one would have Christ if it weren't for Mary. Yes, God could have chose someone else, but God in his, in his infinite wisdom chose Mary from the beginning of time. That means before time existed. He knew these things were going to happen and he chose the person who was going to say yes to him and who was going to be um, faithful to him above all other things. So when Mary said, be it done unto me according to thy word, and I mean, that is what God already knew she was going to say. So she is the new Ark of the Covenant. Now, some people might argue with that. Well, she's not the Ark of the Covenant. Well, think about this. If the Ark of the Covenant was something that God wanted cre created to hold two stone tablets, which are not living, but it was the Word of God um, written in stone, why wouldn't Mary be the new Ark of the Covenant, when she's holding the literal Word of God, living, breathing Word of God, God the Son, Jesus Christ. So she is the new Ark of the Covenant by simple, logical reasoning. Anyway, why do the rosary or whatever, whatever? In my personal experience, I have personally experienced a major healing of a problem, you know, um, that I had for many, many years that was debilitating. It was really harming my social life. It was harming me physically. It was harming me mentally. I could not get rid of this issue for so many years. I tried and I tried. All of a sudden, um, I was healed. I went to a Catholic mass. I was not Catholic. I was Buddhist at the time. Went to a Catholic mass. Um, when I went up to get the blessing, I felt some kind of energy come through me. The next night I had a dream. Jesus came to me. Boom, woke up. I was healed. I had the ultimatum. From God himself, he said, now you've been healed, but you still have a choice to make. Are you going to come with me over here to the Catholic Church or are you going to stay Buddhist and you are free to choose? Well, I chose Catholicism because Buddhism never healed me. Protestantism never healed me. So I'm not saying these other things cannot be effective for other people, but there is an objective truth, an objective fact that no one, although you might want to argue with me, no one can argue with me about the objective facts of my life. I receive the miraculous healing. I receive the message from God to um, go the way I'm going. And that is why I'm not going to turn around because no one else healed me. You didn't heal me. Your friends didn't heal me. Whatever church you go to didn't heal me. God healed me through the Catholic faith. And that is why I am Catholic now. And also, uh, what about the rosary? Well, I got a message from God as well to do the rosary, the full rosary challenge every day. And I denied it for a long time, for about six months. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do the full rosary. I'm like, that's a lot. That's an hour and a half, two hours of prayer. I don't have time for that, God. I'm going to, I'm getting my master's degree. I'm, uh, you know, I have a full-time job. I have kids. I have all this stuff. I can't do that. But God kept prodding me and prodding me and poking me and poking me. And finally, on New Year's Eve, I decided that, you know what? It's a new year coming. I need to make a new resolution. I'm going to do what God's been telling me to do, to pray the all 20 mysteries of the rosary um, every single day. And the graces that I've been receiving from this venture are, I mean, undisputable. I mean, they're, I mean you cannot, you, you know, uh, argue with me about the graces I'm receiving because I am receiving them. So although a lot of people out there, specifically Protestants, love to argue, you can't argue with the objective 
facts, just as if you were to come to me and say, well, I was healed from my tuberculosis or my cancer or whatever by God in, I don't know, the Baptist church or the Episcopalian church, then I can't argue with your objective facts, the facts of your life. And I'm not going to. I'm just going to tell you why I do the things I do. So I started with that miraculous event and I went next to uh, the mental side and the heart side and all that stuff because we're supposed to love God with our whole mind, heart, soul, and strength. Well, God got me with the soul first. Now I'm going to the mind, the heart, and the strength. You know, so I looked into the history of the church and then I started feeling these emotions. Oh, wow, this is such a beautiful faith and all this. And intellectually, that's mine. And then I got the heart going and now I got the strength going, the stamina to keep going, to stay holy and to remain um, as sinless as possible. Of course, I might, you know, commit a sin here or there. I might fall, but I'm going to go to confession. I'm going to get absolved. I'm going to get back up and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep praying the full rosary for as many days as I can and promoting it to other people like you wonderful people watching this video or you not so wonderful people who might get upset about this video and any other videos I might make. So for future commenters, I'm going to link this video instead of having a debate with you. And then you can, you know, uh, decide from there what you want to do. Anyway, in the meantime, in between time, I have a whole bunch of links in the description box below that can help you pray the rosary if you would like to do that. If not, you can ignore them. So pray the rosary, pray for me, and until next time, stay holy and God love you.